the interrogation room. Are y'all prepared to enter the interrogation room on this early Tuesday morning? Is it Tuesday? When your YouTuber all time just blends into one day. All right, so Casanova's old lady, right? She has a best friend. And her best friend is the one that we're going to be watching in the interrogation room today. There's a bunch of names brought up, even Casanova's. And a lot of people are saying this is an old interrogation clip. It has nothing to do with Casanova's new indictments. At least that's what Casanova's old lady said. But of course she's going to say that. This is her best friend, right? I don't know if she still is. But even if these were old video clips, it still means they had a snitch very close to their home team. Right? That's just some of the rumors that's been revolving ever since this video was dropped. But we're not here because of all the rumors. And we're not even here because this is Casanova's old lady's best friend. That's not why we're here. I'm not even going to title it anything along the lines of Casanova or anyone on his team. We're here to watch how detectives butter people up to give them a little bit of intel. And for anybody that's new to this channel, we talk about all things prison and crime related. From interrogation rooms to street crimes all the way to the courthouse. Watching people get sentenced from 20 to 40 to life, even death sentence. We react to it because this is the reality of life. So I would like to think that these clips I bring to your attention are just like rude awakenings. You know, for people that think the justice system ain't really that real. Oh, it's real. It's real as shit. What are you? No raw fish. All right, we discussed them. Go. Dirt. She's already losing. Already losing, ladies and gentlemen. She's naming names. I don't care if the detective asked if these individuals like pepperoni pizza. You don't say shit. Nothing. I heard stay on name before. That is what I heard. Um. I don't know about that, but I'm still getting locked up. Yeah, you can't be released. Okay, so I'll tell you all this information is not helping me. So I'm still getting locked up, she says. I give you all this information and you ain't letting me go? This is how the detectives work, ladies and gentlemen. They want as much information as they could possibly get without making deals. If they can get a conviction without making any kind of deal with her, they're going to do it. Detectives have a mean talk game. Right? They're going to make the situation seem a lot less than what it is. You're just in there talking to them. That's it. Even though the next words you say might just land you 50 years to life in prison. But who cares? You don't need an attorney with you. Right, girl? That's her first mistake. Why isn't there an attorney in this room? I know you can't see the room. I cropped it out to size. But there's no attorney in here. You never talk to these detectives without an attorney. You don't open your damn mouth. I don't care if you didn't do shit. You can say the wrong word and the next thing you know, you're getting flipped over in the courtroom for something you didn't even do because you want to try to help the detectives. Every word you say can be held against you in the court of law. I don't care where it is. Detectives room, prelims in the courtroom, right before you get arrested in the cop car, all this shit will be used against you in the court of law. You need to shut your damn mouth and wait for your attorney. But obviously this chick can't tell that these detectives are milking her. It's not going to help you walk out the door tonight. What's going to help you is when we talk to the AUSA about this and we write this up that you're being uh, uh, assisting your, yourself and helping yourself, at which point the AUSA will set another meeting. Now the detective says we're going to write it up as though she's working for herself, helping herself out. I don't really know what that means. I've never been in any kind of situation to really understand how snitching works behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Like when it comes down, I know everybody knows the snitch is your talent, but there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes with paperwork, especially if you're trying not to get in trouble with the shit that you're already wrapped around in. There's all kinds of tricks and paperwork these detectives have to get shit done. Now, this is just what I thought. You know, I've been to prison twice, been in and out of jail, done videos on snitches. I just don't know this. Maybe someone can answer this for me, but you better be careful because people, if you answer it, <laughs> they might accuse you of knowing a little too much intel on this situation. But I always thought that if you were to snitch and you were trying to protect yourself, that you need to sign some kind of paperwork before you open your mouth about anything. That's what I always thought. To make sure that, yeah, if I tell you this information, it's written down and signed in paperwork right here that I will not be convicted in the court of law. 
That's how I thought snitching works. But I guess, you know, there are some times where the paperwork isn't signed just yet. And you got to put your faith in the courts. All I got to say is if you're not willing to do the time, then don't do the crime. Or hang out with people that are doing the crimes. In regards to credit card stuff. I know everybody. <laughs> Detectives love that. They said, uh, what about in regards to the credit card stuff? Who do you know? I know everybody. <laughs> Detectives laughing it up too. Like, this is sweet money, boys. Light up the cigars. We already got a winner. <laughs> um, <coughs> main people that you dealt with when it came to credit card stuff. When it came to bins, machines, skimming, trapping, printing. When it comes to money, bins, skimming, trapping, uh, what do you know? Give me some names. Start with the main person besides Malcolm. Main person? Right. Main person besides Malcolm. <coughs> I used to deal with somebody named Weeze. Weeze? Yeah. Okay. How long you say you used to? How long ago? A long time ago. Damn, Weeze. I wonder if any of these guys got locked up, man. Which is July, June, no, or no, no. 2003? That. that was about trapping, or what were you doing with him? With credit cards. The yeah. whole, what aspect? I mean, I would work for him. And Casanova? Mm hmm. Is that his actual name? Uh, I think so. What's his full name? I don't know. His first name or last name? I think that's his first name. Because of Cass? Yeah. So that piece right there, I guess, is what started the rumors about her saying something about Casanova. Uh, obviously, it doesn't really matter if she did or not. I mean, listen to all the shit she done already said. Casanova or some random person, it doesn't matter. Something about him. Uh, is he the cook? Do he cook? We're asking you. <laughs> Do he cook? Is he the cook? Do he cook? <laughs> Detectives like, ah, we're asking you. This girl's talking to them like they're a part of the circle. <laughs> He's the cook, right? Yeah. Everybody was just saying, texted that. So she's saying someone by the name of Tax did it, or she heard. That someone did. It's the same thing as if she were to say he did it. If you were to ask me, mm -hmm. the tax shot. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, I feel like I'm getting locked up for a long time. Oh. I'm gonna be labeled as me snitch. She's gonna get out. Everybody's gonna talk about me. That's, that's what I see right now. She already knew what was coming. I'm snitching, everybody's gonna talk about me, everybody's gonna know, you're damn right. Welcome to Lockdown 23 and 1.